swim in your own compound away from stress or you want to stay in conducive environment? Are you worried about how to get your own land at a reasonable price with a comfortable payment scale? Because Dabodula Real Estate Agency, we are here to ease all your worries in getting your own lands at yes, yes, reasonable price. Dabodula Estate Agency has lands available on sale at a very reasonable prices located as tragically at the coastal settlements such as Sanyang San Sanding Phase 1 and 2, Sanyang Barcelona, Jam City, Sambuya, Penyem, Birkama Jida, Kairakunda and Salaji, Sanyang Barcelona Estate, Sanyang Seaside, Jambanjali Estate Phase 2, Penyem Estate, Yaran Mama Plus, Salaji Individual Plots, Tubakuta Estate and Gunjur Sambuya. Plots are available in different sizes depending on your choice with a comfortable payment plan. We also do exchange land for a car or a car for a land. For more information, you can kindly visit our main office at Bulsubi Roundabout opposite Afrimet International Hospital. Or better still, you can reach out to us on the following telephone numbers. Plus 220-9947-270 Plus 220-2187-171 Or plus 220-315544 With Dabodula Real Estate, customer satisfaction is our main priority. The Gambia Armed Forces Training School has today graduated members of State Guard Battalion who have completed three weeks of intensive training on the medium and heavy mortars from 16 to the 3rd of June, whilst promoting the effective employment of this weapon system against any potential adversary. The training was initiated by the Commanding Officer State Guard Battalion, whose unit provided the necessary logistics. The graduation ceremony was graced by the Commander Republic and National Guard, Brigadier General Tro Jaune, representing the Chief of Defense Staff Gambia Armed Forces, Lieutenant General Yaku Aid Rami, and other State Guard protocols. Speaking at the opening of the graduation ceremony was Major Abdullah Ba, Commandant of the Gambia Armed Forces Training School, who highlighted on the course received by the participants during the training and the outcome. Over the past three weeks of training, these course participants have received extensive instructions on the characteristics, field maintenance, safe handling of these weapon systems, and their varying ammunition. Their effective and tactical employment against any potential adversary, the disengaging roles, and the after-action drills as far as these weapon systems are concerned. Therefore, as Commandant of the Gambia Armed Forces Training School, I can, I can comfortably report that they are able to handle these weapon systems safely among their comrades and effectively against any potential enemy. <laughs> Again, it is my singular pleasure to report that during the course we registered no disciplinary issues. Therefore, I want to commend the participants for their comportment during the training. However, it is regrettable that one of the participants failed the course. In the Gambia Armed Forces Training School, we always insist on course participants meeting the learning objectives in every course we conduct. During the process, at times, it could be challenging. We are always firm but fair, and always ready to give the guidance to participants so that they can be successful more successful than they were actually going to be without such guidance. Adding that in armed forces, a leader is anyone who by virtue of assumed roles or assigned responsibilities to inspire and influence people to accomplish organizational goals. Colonel Sengye, the commanding officer of the State Guard Battalion, said, Among the functions of a State Guard is the mandate of providing security for the seat of government. The main objective of this plan 
is anchored on capacity building aimed at honing individual skills of troops under command in relevant military disciplines. This was informed by the necessity to bring all troops to an acceptable standard after conducting a thorough needs analysis, which identified gaps in knowledge, skills, and abilities among serving troops who are posted to state gas battalion from various services. In this regard, significant number of training activities have been designed and implemented during the 2021 and 2022 training cycle. This includes training in diverse areas covering techniques, tactics, and immediate action drills of VIP protection and base security. Training on the weapon systems available at the State Gas Battalion has also been given due prominence. Meanwhile, I am happy to report that so far, 211 personnel have benefited from one form of training or the other during the period under review. He further states the main objective of the training. In conclusion, he thanked both the school commandant and his chief instructor for his exemplary leadership and by extension commend all the staff of Gambia Armed Forces Training School for their tremendous work. Representing the Chief of Defense Staff, Gambia Armed Forces, was Brigadier General Turo Jaune, the Commander of the Republic and National Guard, who thanked the commandants of the school, elaborates on the significance of the training and the primary functions of the State Guard. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, today's ceremony is a culmination of a training that is in fulfillment of the Chief of Defense Staff training directives. This marks yet another great achievement in the development and capacity building of our men and women in uniform, more so the Republican National Guard to better equip them to contribute to the socio-economic development of this country. The primary mission of militaries the world over is the preservation and defense of the territorial integrity of their countries. However, among the many challenges, one effective way to combat insecurity is to adapt weapon training strategies that meet the demands of today's complex and changing operational environment. It is against this backdrop that the Armed Forces Command deem it fitting and proper that its weapon training strategies need revision, hence this training. The trained graduates were certified for completing the training package. Dawood Bay was certified as the best graduate from the training. He expressed his gratitude and thanked his commandant and instructors for such intervention. Reporting for Kairaba News Network, I am Marco Tumani. <laughs>